Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. This is your next 72 hour predictions. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. But before we do, my wonderful Cancers, we're going to say thank you to our sponsor today, which is Keen. All right, so guys, if you are looking for a personal reading, I would advise you to go to Keen. They have some really talented advisors on Keen. Just recently, I got my own personal reading, and it's funny because the last video that I did a sponsorship for Keen, I did not mention the reader that read me, but here's her information. I got a reading from this psychic called The Psychic One. Uh, she was able to give me clarity on when something was going to occur. It's interesting because she got the same time frame that I got. <laughs> and that's funny, that's what I said um, my last Keen video about a year ago when I had used Keen. Um, they're really good at that. Like their psychic advisors are really good at that. This is was a different advisor that I used and she gave me clarity on a time frame. Um, I did not have to give her that information. She just picked it up on her own. So yes, she is psychic. Um, like I said, her name is the psychic one that I use. If you're interested in getting a psychic reading for Keen, go ahead and click on my description box and there you'll see a link for my discount code. Right now, you can get your first five minutes for a dollar. Keen is very easy to set up. All you have to do is find an advisor and set up an account, and that is it, all right? So, yes. Thank you, Keen, for sponsoring my video. You guys, I feel like you will be satisfied. I've been satisfied with my um, experiences with Keen. So, thank you, Keen, for sponsoring our video. All right, my wonderful Cancers. Let's see, I don't know why I'm smelling smoke. Someone here in my fire alarm, I'm hearing, a, I'm seeing a fire alarm going off and smoke. There could be someone watching this video where the fire alarm's going on, you need to check your food. <laughs> if you're cooking something in the kitchen, or there could be something going on in the next 72 where there's like some smoke in the kitchen. I'm just seeing something to do with smoke, all right. Let's see, what is happening for my wonderful Cancers, sun, moon are rising in the next 72. We have good news again. Ooh. So I said good news again because I feel like... Was it the last video I did? The ear came out again? I don't know. I think it was. Anyway, we have good news. And we have spiritual guidance and protection here. So, Cancer, for your next 72 hours, what I'm seeing happening is there's something to do with you hearing some, getting, getting some, um, you're going to be getting some guidance. You're going to be getting some spiritual guidance. You're going to hear something. Um, for some of you, if you're really tapped into your gifts, you may actually hear, like if you have clear audience, you may actually hear, um, an ancestor or an angel speaking to you that's what I'm getting right here you may actually hear it it's a clear message but there's something about you hearing something very clearly and this is a message from an angel this could even happen via a conversation that you have with somebody like say you've been look you've been wondering about You've been wanting some type of clarity on something. You've been asking God, you know, to speak to you. You need some type of guidance. Cancer, you're going to hear what you need to do via through another person or via like clear audience. That's what I'm getting for your next 72. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, Cancer's thoughts. Yeah, you're going to triumph. And Cancer's thoughts, feelings, and actions. Let's see. Ooh. We have the skull right here. And I don't know why I'm seeing like, I'm hearing mystery date. Something about a mystery date. I don't know why I'm hearing a mystery date. Um, I'm seeing speed dating. Some of you might be considering speed dating or something about a mystery date where you're going on a date and you don't really know who the person is. Uh, a blind date. That's what they call it, blind date. I've never been on one of those. <laughs> but something like that for someone 
for someone um, in this group here. But we have hidden secrets that can harm you. I feel like in the next 72 with the skull right here, there's something about you pondering on maybe a murder mystery for some of you. Others of you, there's something to do with you pondering on some type of secret. Like you want to know. And it's interesting because I'm going back to the good news and the angel. I feel like, Cancer, there's something you want to know. Like, there's something you are confused about. I'm seeing career and networking. For some of you, it has a lot to do with your career and your money matters. You're going to get the answer in the next 72 to a week ahead. For some of you, it may even happen later on because I've heard in the comment section that sometimes my readings actually resonate weeks out. Please understand that we are on different time frames. I try to get it, the messages, within the next 72, but, you know technically time does not exist so i need to tell my employer that when they say hey sean you've been like late again i'm gonna say time does not exist because <laughs> i'm always late for work but anyway uh tmi but um yeah i feel like this is basically linked to this right here like something that you're something that you're confused about you feel like something's being hidden from you you're going to receive the information i'm also seeing something about data data is significant and i'm seeing something going on with technical support right i'm hearing something going on with technical support now let me get some more uh, clarity on this hidden secret that can harm you that's in your thoughts feelings and actions let's see i don't know why i'm hearing breastplate i'm hearing bless breast breastplate you need some more information on the hidden secrets that can harm cancer. And I'm saying goodbye. Hidden secrets that can harm you. We have hello. And I just said goodbye and then we have a hello. Okay. Hello. Okay, and then we have a nice guy. Okay. Okay, Cancer, let me just move this up a little bit more so you can see this. So what I'm getting here in the thoughts, feelings, and action is I was literally hearing goodbye and then I pull hello. We have admirer and we have nice guy. I feel like Cancer, there's someone that wants to reintroduce themselves. So I'm hearing let me reintroduce re myself or someone wants to introduce themselves. And I did say that I was seeing speed dating. I feel like there's someone that is interested in you in the next 72. And they may, may be trying to get some, have some communication with you. They may be wanting to take you out. But there's something about you being skeptical thinking that there could be probably some secrets that can be harming that could be harmful to you I'm getting let's see let's see what this person's intentions truly is what is this person doing like what is their intentions what are their intentions all upright what is their intentions for cancer and I'm seeing a handshake like you're meeting someone I'm seeing something about you meeting someone um, what is this person's intentions? Please use discernment, by the way. Even though I'm pulling the intentions, please don't go by just strictly tarot readings. Please use your own discernment, all right? Don't make decisions off of tarot readings. This is just to give you, um, you know, some clarity. Okay, we have desperate right here. In a bind and don't have anyone else to... Okay, so yeah. There is someone here that's trying to reach out to you and you are they're in your thoughts and your actions. And the reason why they're in your thoughts and your in your actions in the next 72 hours is because they are reaching out to you, but you already know that this person may have secrets and that they are actually desperate, all right? This is your confirmation if you're feeling that way. All right, for others of you, please use your own discernment when it comes to people. I'm hearing something about no longer being a people pleaser like you're no longer being a people pleaser and i i'm hearing this person has got themselves in a pickle whoever this is put this away okay 
Let's see what else. There's Cancer's obstacle. We have, and this is coming out with September. September wants to show itself, so we're going to go ahead and look, pay attention to September. All right, so your obstacle for the next 72, and I feel like this came out last time. Did it, guys? I would have you comment down below, but I'm turning off the comments right now because the trolls, I don't know if they're on summer break or whatever it is, but I don't, I don't got time for that. I just want to focus on my talent and not weird comments that have nothing to do with me. But anyway... I feel like I believe it was on the last video that I did for you guys, but I'm seeing September coming out. There's something, there's some talk about something occurring in September, and this is your obstacle again in um, the next 72. This could also be a person who's born in September. Um, there's some type of communication, gossip about this person born in September or something occurring in September. I'm going to pull some more to see what this is. What is this? What is this? Lord, my hand is ashy. What is this? I'm seeing someone falling. Like I'm literally seeing someone falling. Oops, I didn't hit the camera. Sorry, guys. And I'm seeing brands, brand stalkers. Um, is it brand stalkers or I forget that Draculaia movie? Okay, we have a privileged lady. have service and I want to go ahead and guilty victim let's see I'm gonna kind of move these over here guys so you guys can see all of the cards hmm I do want to take all of these I'm gonna move these a little bit to the side so for your obstacle we have someone will gossip about your secrets we have September we have a privileged lady service and a victim and guilt guilt right here guilt what i'm getting right here with the parrot and the september and the privileged lady and the service guilt guilt and victim what i'm getting what i'm getting there's something occurring in september september can represent a person when it comes to this tea leaf tarot but I feel like this has something to do with some talks about some type of service or something you need to do in September something you may need to do in September but it's interesting because I feel like because I feel like this is you cancer this is you as privileged lady or privileged man um, take it as it resonates there's something about someone needing your help in September I really feel like someone needs your help but there's something to do with you this person that possibly needs your help may have um, may have victimized you in some way or they are they may are they I feel like this person may have victimized you in a way and like they may have fell victim to something and I feel like out of guilt they kind of want you to like be of service there's there's something to do with that that's not for everyone, but I'm seeing something. And I'm seeing something about numbing, numbing cream. Like, I'm seeing numbing cream. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting numbing cream, but something about maybe this person feels numb, but I'm seeing numbing cream. But I feel like there's, and I'm seeing that I'm seeing the goldfish in my third eye. There's something to do with you, someone trying to make you feel. Are you feeling obligated to someone? Um, you feeling obligated because you're being viewed as the privileged lady and I feel like this person feels like they have they feel like you that they have privilege to you I hope I'm making sense they feel like they 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 need to be granted the privilege of you catering to them or helping them that's what I'm getting okay 
I hope that sounded clear to you all. But that's what I'm getting. There's something about someone pulling on your heartstrings. And I'm literally seeing a heart with strings. Someone's going to be trying to pull on your heartstrings. If this is not you, this is someone that's very close to you and you're hearing about this. But that's what I'm seeing being a bit of an obstacle. obstacle and there's something to do with you having to solve this problem. Or someone looking at looking at you as, um, I keep seeing meal ticket. Someone sees you as a meal ticket, Cancer. Even if you ain't got no no freaking money, because <laughs> I've heard I don't have any money, it don't matter. Someone's someone sees you and thinks you're doing better, and they need your service. That's what I'm getting. Something to do with um, some of you. It has something to do with elderly parents. Some of you. It has something to do with elderly parents, possibly. I'm getting all right. Let me get some more of what's happening. Now I'm being ADHD and I'm messing with these cards, guys. Ignore it. <laughs> Ignore it. All right. Let's see another thing for cancer. Okay. Yeah. We have right here the mule right here. At the bottom of the deck, I do want to acknowledge that, is someone's being stubborn. I also see that someone's being stubborn. In the next 72, it could be you being stubborn and not um, accepting some type of help. But there's something to do with you possibly trying to help someone guide them a certain way, but they're refusing to accept some type of help. I'm getting... I'm hearing great expectations. Yeah. Yeah, there's someone here, Cancer, that you may be in the next 72 trying to help them, like guide them with something, but it's like they don't want to put in the work. This could be a female. This could be a female in your energy. Like you may be trying to help them or you're the female, but there's going to be some type of work that they need to do and you're like, "Oh, look, I came upon this information, but they don't really want to do that." That's what I'm getting. All right, I'm also seeing something occurring with a speech therapist I'm getting. I'm hearing speech therapy. Let's see what else is happening. I'm hearing something about a letter being received in the next 72 to a week ahead. All right. I'm also getting somebody's going to be deleting their channel or hearing about someone's channel being deleted. Like you're going to be looking up a YouTuber and their channel's deleted. <clears throat> I'm not deleting my channel, by the way, guys. I'm just protecting my peace. All right. Okay, we have hot air balloon. I feel like you're going to be... In the next 72, it's something about you gaining a new perspective and ascending. And it has something to do with, like, grief and loss. Like, if you've been feeling very depressed and you're trying to keep it together, there's something about you ascending and gaining some type of new perspective about your situation. Let's see. I don't know why I'm seeing little women books. There's something about someone's going to be finding some little women books. Those old books with those little girls. Something about little women books. I see blinders right here, victim mentality. All right, let's see. Blind. Bottom of the deck, karma. I kind of want to clarify this. What do you have your blinders on? Denial. Someone's in denial and they have their blinders on. About what? About what? Hmm. We have prayer. Okay, how's this going to turn out? Cancer, I want to say, if there's something that's your bottom of the deck in energy, we have a gift right here. If you have something that you've been wishing for, and you've been hyper-focused on something, I feel like there's something you may be wishing for, and then you've been very um, hyper-focused, and there's a little bit of denial about something, um, Spirit is saying your prayer is going to be answered. So we have prayer and we have uh, mysticism. So what I'm getting right here, I'm hearing misogynistic man. I don't, I don't know why I'm hearing misogynistic man. Some of you may be dealing with 
a misogynistic man. But what I'm getting right here is you're not supposed to see what's supposed to happen next. Like there's something to do with you not seeing something and having tunnel vision and praying, but you're going to receive some type of gift. And I'm hearing something about when you least expect it. So stop expecting it. And then we have home, heart of home. I feel like cancer, for the next 72, I feel like you're really spending a lot of time at home. All right. I feel like you're following your heart's desires and you may be feeling just really content and secure in your home. Your home life is very peaceful. If you've had some type of chaos in your home, it's like you're going to be finding peace in the next 72 I'm getting. But there's something about you feeling secure and having a loving home. I'm also getting like a sense of belonging, like you feeling like you belonged, like that you belong. All right. And I feel like this is coming after a time where maybe something was a little volatile that just happens. Maybe you feel like you're going to explode. Um, you may have been dealing, some of you may have been dealing with someone who was very aggressive towards you, but I feel like there's a lot of peaceful energy right here. And I'm really drawn to your heart's desire. Like you're really following bliss and something about your heart desire is being answered. You may even realize that. And I don't know why I'm saying money. For some of you, there's something to do with money that's coming in. All right. Okay, my wonderful cancers. That is, that's it. That is it. <laughs> Please like the video. If you liked the video, subscribe if you really liked the video. I love you all and have a wonderful next 72. Bye-bye.